so club sport. Club sport, normal one, not an S, not an S. Uh, you had one yourself, didn't you? Yeah, I had a silver one. That was Three a nice door car. manual, this is a DSG four door. Yeah, yeah, big wing yeah. front seats. Yeah, it's got three doors. So they're basically a front wheel drive Golf R, aren't they? But basically, yeah. With a, with so a visual a, of a GTI. Visuals of a GTI, it's got a Golf R engine. It's like a Seat Leon as well, the 280 Cooper, it's a very similar chassis. Oh, of course, yeah. Same yeah. diff, things like that. So this one's had um, V5, Turbotenix turbocharger. Is that a turbo that I had in my Golf R? Did yes, I have a V5? Same one, yep. So this is a very similar setup to. Basically, yeah, this is runs meth as well. So it's it sort of identical to what you had. Mm -hmm. um, the only difference with this one, obviously, is it's two wheel drive. Otherwise, it'd be the same. So um, this car actually runs a uh, an Akrapovic or a Kropovic, We're going to call it. How have you pronounce yeah. it? I don't, I don't know. Akrapovic. It changes weekly, doesn't it? Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, full system. Yeah, yeah with a cat. Tips on the back. So it's got a, a cat on the car as well. So it runs a little bit less power because. Oh uh, right. Um, but that's coming off now because mm -hmm. it's more for track use. It goes to Nurburgring, Spa, yeah. uh, track days, things like that. It's still in from Automotive Addiction, who owns the car. Oh, really? Yeah, that's he his car. He sells cars, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah, wicked. Yeah. So he's so, obviously a bit of a petrol head as well then, isn't he? Yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah, huge. So he, because we do a lot of servicing work for him, um, he asked us to build him the club sport. So he found the car, sent it here. And then we did it. So this has got engine mounts. It's got the I know, it's, bigger yeah, CSF nice, radiators it? in it. Um, it's got the map sensors. There, the front uh, oil cooler for the engine. Again, mine had all of this as well, didn't it? The, it did, yeah. The, so the only difference this car to yours, I don't think you had engine mounts. No, I don't. And yeah. I don't think you had the bigger uh, DSG water radiator inside. You can buy a DSG cooler for these. Mm -hmm which is basically uh, an oil cooler, but this is the bigger water radiator for the DSG box. There's two types. So, so is that a bit of a must then? Because it, it, he awesome runs it on the track, on the track. so you get big temps. So, um, and his specification to me was, one, I don't want to run out of brakes, and two, I don't want it to overheat, because he says so, I'm not going to come in. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. fair enough. Yeah, so yeah. we, we, we um, spec'd it to what he wanted, and it, and it worked. So. Building a car for a track surely is a bit more of a challenge, isn't it? Because you've got to it's call in, to like keep temperatures, engine um, and gearbox keep temperatures. temps down. It's, it's a big problem, yeah. So, and then you've got obviously tyre temp and suspension, etc. This is this is running KW uh, Club Sport suspension. I see that it's sitting nice, isn't it? Yeah. So it runs a lot of camber on the front, mm -hmm. and then obviously the front brakes we run. Uh, then the AP Radical brake kit, so three eighty mil kit. There are then the rear set of brakes, the isn't it? ECS tuning discs and an upgraded pads. So we run the Mintex F6R front pads, mm -hmm. and then a DS2500 Frodo in the rear, so they're not too grabby. Uh, and then and that's then it, and obviously the exhaust you know about. Internally, the car's all, you know, it's just full seats. The everything. seats are amazing, aren't they? It's got the big wing seats in there, but it's just got the normal seats. That's actually gonna have a cage put in this. Oh, no way. The whole interior's just... coming out for a cage. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, my car, the leather option. Oh, the center console yeah, yeah. I remember well. yours was slightly different. Yeah, oh, the yeah. Center, and it had light up sills. This, and then mine didn't have the red in the belts. That's quite a nice touch, isn't it? So they had the red in the belts when it came with these seats. It's like there was different options different and options. lots yeah, of yeah. different bits inside. Them so. seats are just beautiful, like the little Caro. They all had the same suede steering wheel in there. Yeah, that's nice as well. Yeah. It's nice it's got a DSG box as well. Yours was a manual, wasn't mine it? Mine was a manual, yeah. The, the DSG stuff is, is good, but. Um, it's obviously it's better, but when you when you're on the track, I prefer a manual myself. Yeah, but I do you, like you know, manual. everybody knows that already. Anyway, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. But um, ultimately, a DSG is faster, hands down. You know, you can't. Of course, it is. Yeah, you can't deny that. So yeah, I'm curious to see what this what it's like on the road. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll shut the bonnet and go out. Yeah. Let's go. So this is obviously quite a common setup you do, isn't it? This it's like a stage it's three. A no brainer, done done thing. You know, we just. I think it costs between seven and ten grand to do okay. the, that co that conversion with meth and stuff like that's that. That's just all the under the bonnet stuff, yeah. Yeah, it depends on what people Which, do with it. If you then want to do like an extra rad or an oil cooler, you're going to pay more money potentially. But it just depends on. It's a rough estimate of what it costs, and it will give you like five hundred each. So five, yeah, five hundred plus all day long. So yeah. some people don't want it. The thing is, on a front wheel drive car, you can't get it too high because. Yeah. You know. yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. You, on the forward drive, you're going to be using it more, so. I mean, if we feed the power in. That's a noise power, it doesn't, power doesn't, in it. It doesn't wheel spin straight away, you know. Nah, nah, nah. What size? It's got Nankangs on it, is it? I think it has. I think got it has, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.
you know what? I would rate it being a front wheel drive. That changes the drive altogether. Sometimes with my Golf R, I remember thinking, I wish this was front wheel drive. Obviously, you just bought front wheel drive. Yeah, two wheel drive. Four drive planted. Yeah. yeah. Front wheel drive. So that's second gear, and then we just. Still wheel spin though, wouldn't it? Potentially, surely? yeah, potentially. So this is all um, bushed, and this is because it's a normal club sport. They came with a steel subframe, mm -hmm. and they come with different hubs. Sorry, standard hubs. Mm -hmm. The club sport S mm -hmm. comes with an aluminium subframe, like what's fitted to the S3, uh, and they have more camber on the actual hub as well. Uh, right. So but this has had all that put on it. So that's fourth gear now. So if I plant it in fourth, it feels talky even straight away, doesn't it? So, and then. times on um, with my draggy box 20 to 70 20 to, just because it's sort of legal yeah, yeah not legal because it ain't legal because you're well yeah but it's, but but you're it's not, within yeah, yeah, yeah within 70 mile an hour though. you ain't got to get it off the mark so don't you, you ain't got to, interesting it's, what, it's, you been, it's, what you been doing now i've been doing it and by the time this video goes live there would have been a few other cars gone up in yeah uh, but i've done it in my rs7 i've done it in the c63 i've done it in the rs7 has got to be quick on it rs7 is quick i'm not sure what this is doing this should be i think this should be Important, though, isn't it? <laughs> nice. 
no pressure, Will. You'll be sick. <laughs> In the next episode of Diary of Car Trader, I go drag racing in my Litchfield tuned 750 brake horsepower stage 4.5 Nissan GTR.